Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, I want to show you how to export models from Navisworks into Fuser. We're gonna go through the ribbon together. I wanna explain all the settings that needs to be done and I wanna introduce all of the items that you need to know in order to export and update your model in Fuser. Without further ado, let's jump into Fuser. After your installation is complete, uh, when you go to your Navis, you open it up, uh, go through all the tabs under your add in tab, you'll be able to see the Fuser pl pl plugins. So this is basically, it's going to be installed after your installation is uh, done. You can see it under the, the tool uh, add ins in your Navis. Um, so it's not very complicated. It's just three items that we have over here. The first one is a Fuser plugin. So basically this one syncs your currently opened file to Navisworks. So any model that you have open, that's going to sync that. So if you don't like some items, make sure you hide them. Or if you need some items unhide, whatever you is shown on your 3D view, that's what is going to be um, exported from Navis and imported into Fuser. So the next one is a batch sync. So it opens a file browser for you to select multiple files to be converted into separate cache files. So this is basically if you have architectural, structural, mechanical, and all in a folder, you can just simply open here. You don't need to open any NWC. You can select all of those files and then export. So it's going to take all of those and then put them in Fuser. And then the place QR button uh, basically places a HoloLens QR code in your file. So let's click on this, see what we get. Okay, so we have another box opened up. Uh, it's basically, this is a, a launch Fuser drop-down menu. Select the version of the Fuser to open your project. So whatever you have for this one, I have 2024, but you have anything else, you can kind of open that one and select. Uh, the next one is a model name. So I'm currently using just one model, which is the architectural model for the training purposes. But if you have multiple models in your project, you can see all of those models listed here. Um, so basically this text box specifies a model name for the file to be synced as. Uh, so this is going to be um, between the file that you have over there in Navis and then with Fuser. And then make sure you basically select the model that you want and it's gonna sync it. So if syncing a composite model from Navis works, each file name can be managed separately. And then also this allows you as a user to merge new versions of, of an appended model with a new name to override an old one. So you gotta make sure you use the same name, same process that you have in Navis. So you shouldn't change the name, you shouldn't change the file type. So if you update your Navis and Relink, it basically is gonna update the model in Fuser with your latest and greatest NWC that you have. So basically you select the model over here, whatever you need, if you need all of them, all has to be the same. And then uh, the next one that we're looking at it right here, it says sync saved views. So in Navis, we have a saved viewpoints or save viewpoint box. So anything that you have saved over there is going to basically transfer and imports all of those viewpoints from Navis into Fuser for you. Uh, sync lines uh, ensures all the 2D lines, geometry, as well as lines from any DWG that you are synced. Uh, into Fuser that you have in Navis. It's gonna go over there. So all the lines basically refers to all the 2D that you have. Property show user unit. Uh, so toggles whenever uh, whether BIM properties use user set values or are automatically calculated. So just kind of showing the properties if you want. Uh, that's gonna be good. Mergeable object. Um, so that object IDs are generated using merge friendly IDs. Otherwise IDs are generated in sequential order um, so the good thing is syncing in sequential order is gonna make it faster so faster merging first uh, faster uh, to reopen faster process to edit so you gotta make sure this is recommended to check that box it makes everything faster for you in terms of updating syncing editing and whatnot 
So the user IFC, it's basically ensures that IFC uh, files imported into Navis are synced to Fuser with the same ID and not regenerated. So this is important because we want to make sure that if you have any I IFC model in your selection tree in Navis works, you got to make sure you check the box for the use IFC. So we're not going to get a new ID items when they uh, when you update your previous one like or the old one so so this is needed that's for sure when are loaded into navis work uh, from other software so by default it's off but if you have any ifc you got to make sure you basically check that box so it's going to avoid generating new ids so this is pretty simple this is what you have if you want to send viewpoints send it if you have ifc check if none of these just make sure you have the mergeable objects and okay that's it i mean it's gonna take a very very uh short time and then you'll be able to basically see your model gets generated into fuser so this is a very simple process, but you gotta make sure you get all the setting correctly and you can see you know, how easily I was able to bring in all the items that I have uh, from Navis into Fuser. And then we did talk about it. If you wanna update, make sure you have the same name, same uh, object. So when you up update it in Navis and resync is gonna update the model in your Fuser. Hoping that uh, I was able to add some other tips to your toolbox. If you like the content, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.